Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a look at the parts of a guitar. I'm holding an acoustic guitar here, and let's talk about it. Uh, the two main components here on any guitar are the body and the neck. That's the broadest way to look at it. But then you can dive deeper and deeper and learn everything you need to know. I actually went years and years without even knowing what half the things were. I just sort of know they were the little peggy things and wasn't sure what that was called and all that. But let's take a look. Um, the, you have the top of the body, you have the sides of the body, and you have the back of the body. Uh, I'll come back to that. Then you have the neck. The neck um, has the main piece of wood of the neck, but then right here you have a fretboard. And you can see here the fretboard is um, a piece of darker wood on top of the rest of the neck. And um, this one is ebony. This one has an interesting just sort of natural streak to the wood, which is really cool. And then on that you have these frets. Uh, those metal wires are called frets, F-R-E-T-S, and um, that way you say I'm playing on the first fret or the fifth fret right there. Uh, those are the frets. These white uh, dots are um, inlays. Um, they help you know that I'm on the third fret. The one right there with two is on the twelfth fret, for example. Um, I'll come back again to the body. Here at the top, you've got the headstock. So the headstock is part of the neck. Um, you got the Taylor logo. By the way, this is a Taylor GS Mini uh, guitar, great guitar, uh, which I talk about in another video and really say how it's really terrific for new guitarists. Um, here you have the tuning keys. These are what tuning, uh, you, how you tune the guitar. Uh, you also call them um, tuning pegs or uh, tuners as well. You can see on the back, these are called closed back, meaning you don't really see this gear, This uh, the gear is inside there. But as you turn, um, you um, tune the guitar, tune the strings up and down. Speaking of the strings, forgot to mention the strings, you got six strings on a guitar. Um, these are acoustic strings made for an acoustic guitar. This little black thing right here covers up what's called the truss rod, T-R-U-S-S. Inside most every guitar is actually inside the neck. Um, you can't see it, but there is a metal rod going through there. It's been inserted by the guitar manufacturer and it lets you um, adjust what's called the bow of the neck. Your, your neck, because it's a piece of wood with humidity and temperature and things like that, it can naturally sort of bow this way or bow that way and making an adjustment to the truss rod there uh, you take that off and, and get a special, probably a hex wrench, uh, helps you um, adjust the neck. I will say, you don't want to do that yourself uh, if you're a beginner. Even if you're advanced, you really want to be careful because you can break your neck or screw up your guitar. Um, it should be done by a professional, generally. Sometimes that uh, truss rod adjustment is right there. Um, speaking of there, um, sort of hopping around here, this is the hole, the sound hole of the guitar. For an acoustic guitar, uh, they've got these, um, but electric guitars um, typically don't. Only some hollow body electric guitars have them. So that's the sound hole of the guitar. Um, inside there you um, have what's called bracing. Um, I believe this uses an X bracing. It's a, it's a piece of wood which stabilizes it. I mean, you don't want to be playing guitar and find out your guitar like cracks in, so there's this bracing, and that affects the tone of the guitar, things like that. Um, this guitar is pretty simple. It has this little nice uh, black and white line around the edges, but it's really for decoration. There's no binding on this guitar. Um, it just has a top piece of wood. This is Sitka spruce, and this is um, walnut. Um, and the, they just meet via some glue and some internal connection points. Some guitars, really a lot of guitars, have uh, acoustic guitars have bracing. It's this extra piece of, I don't know if it's plastic, but just a good hard material that really connects the top to the sides to the back. Um, going a little bit further, this right here and this right here are strap um, pegs or strap holders. And you basically, if you're wearing, if you're standing up performing and you want to put on a guitar strap, uh, you connect one end there and one end there, and it allows you to sort of hang the guitar around your body like that. Uh, another um, point about this, so you can see that's hollow. 
this is an acoustic electric guitar. Uh, not all guitars are acoustic electric. This one is, and it has this here, uh, which are some um, electrics, uh, electronics built into the guitar. And there's a pickup. Um, a pickup is uh, a sound, uh, sort of like a microphone for a guitar. It's actually under here, um, and it pulls the sound of the guitar, sort of amplifies it. You can adjust the tone and the volume, and I can even um, tune my guitar. I've got a tuner built in here. If I press that button right there, you can see that came on. And if I hit um, this note, the E note, it'll tell me whether I'm flat, which is low, or sharp, which is high, and I can bring it down if it's uh, high, for example. Anyway, but right here is where I plug in my guitar. So if I plug in a chord right there, I can play acoustic electric guitar through an amplifier or a PA system and use that to manage my tone. Um, so right here, this item right here, uh, uh, this area right here I was telling you about, this is called the bridge. This whole piece is called the bridge. Um, maybe it looks like a bridge. Uh, and really it's where your strings go in. These are string pegs. Um, and if I were to tune the strings down to where they're almost floppy, I could take these out, put in new strings, put them back in, and, um, and they hold the strings right there on on the bridge right there. Um, this is a, a uh, pick guard. A lot of people when they're strumming and they've got a big pick, um, they're just jamming away. They'll just start to eat away at their guitar here with the pick and create a lot of scratches. Um, there's a big debate about relic guitars and beat up guitars versus new guitars. Um, but uh, this is one way to protect it. I will say it's they're never meant to fully protect your guitar. If you really beat away at it, you're gonna start beating that sound hole, you'll go past that. So it's also mostly or half for decoration, probably. Um, this right here, by the way, this white piece, jumping back up to the neck, that's called the nut. And the nut is, um, if the bridge right here holds the strings on right there, the nut holds them on right there. And the nut, um, a good um, nut is cut uh, and filed very carefully for the right sizes and the right kind of strings. And um, you can upgrade guitars to a bone nut, a real bone, uh, instead of this, which is some, sort of like a synthetic bone, which is another word for plastic. Um, but uh, that, that affects your tone. And there's a lot of things that affect the tone and make a guitar sound better. Um, that's probably it. I'm looking around. Um, Again, I recommend this one highly. This is the Taylor GS Mini. It's a great guitar for any guitarist, I believe. Um, experienced guitarists either use it as a home guitar, what they call a couch guitar. You're just sort of goofing off on the couch. Or it's a travel guitar. It's really small, comes with a neat soft case. Um, I did an unboxing video where I show that off. Um, but it, unlike a lot of guitars in this price range, which is around $650, you can get it at a discount at most of the retailers for 15% off. Um, so you could get at for a little over $500, maybe 550. Um, it's got volume and projection. A lot of the smaller guitars, um, this is a uh, short scale. I believe it's a five eighths scale. Maybe it's three four scale. Um, but unlike a lot of them, this, pro this produces a lot of volume. Um, I'm not plugged into anything. I'm not sure how that's gonna sound, but it's just got a lot of volume, really good tone. But most importantly for new guitarists, super playability. I mean, you can, you can, um, it, it just is easy to play. And a lot of guitars are hard and they're not great in the first place. Um, anyway, I highly recommend it. Hope it's helpful. Um, those are the parts of the guitar. Check out my other videos where I walk through chords and, um, shapes and capos and lessons and gear and more for uh, beginners, intermediate, and advanced players. Hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for listening. See ya.